members and the team that's been led by Justin Warby in achieving this centre today. But more importantly I'd like to thank the Prime Minister and his team. The Prime Minister and his team from day one have been outstanding partners. Their vision and their support has ensured we've been able to successfully launch and build Air Serbia but also develop centres such as this. And certainly I look forward to the continued close ties between Etihad Aviation Group and Serbia to build on this outstanding working relationship that we have today. We're just demonstrating today that it's possible to define new ways to compete effectively in a complex and global competitive market in call centre, in shared services, here in Belgrade, here in Serbia. And Prime Minister, with your continued support, I know we can keep on delivering success. So thank you, and thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for joining us today for this important event. Um, Luka Popovic, ex Aviation News, uh, for Mr. Hogan. So it's been three and a half years since uh, Etihad's involvement with Air Serbia. Uh, how would you evaluate the investment and uh, could the strategic partnership continue past the initial five-year agreement? I think what's important, and sometimes people read the play wrong, all our investments are long-term strategies. Um, we invested to take advantage of network cooperation, build a global network with our partners, and for the actual operating business to achieve scale, improve the top line, and improve the bottom line. So, if I look at Air Serbia, and I reflect on the former Yugoslav Airlines, it's an outstanding transformation. Uh, we know the state of the, of the, the old JAT that was on the point of collapse in three and a half years, and this award that Danny Condich is receiving in New York reflects that transformation. It's been an outstanding model, in my opinion, on how you restructure a government-owned airline, the support that Alexander and his team gave us from day one in right shape, right size, the influx of young people, young talent. You've seen some of the bastions of the old JAT, like um, no female pilots. Um, you're just seeing outstanding talent. So when I look at the top line, when I look at the network, when I look at the synergies, when I look at the roadmap moving forward, I think it's good work in progress. So our partnership is long term. Um, the 5 plus 5 is about a, uh, a, a cooperation agreement, but the, the investment is a long term investment. So we're, we're there to stay. 
I find Belgrade and Serbia one of Europe's best kept secrets. And the more that we can do to bring the tourism, the destination program alive on uh, alongside what's happening with Air Serbia is uh, good for jobs. It's um, good for the improvement of revenues in Serbia. Uh, if you look at the destinations where people can travel to uh, in Europe today, there's been a shift in the traditional destinations from uh, Turkey, North Africa, more into uh, Spain, more into Italy, more into the Caribbean, but why not Serbia? I think Serbia has a unique opportunity moving forward. And that's about people knowing about the destinations. It's about a digital society. It's about a digital age. And a centre such as this reflect the importance of segmenting the market, understanding what drives the market and how Serbia and Belgrade can be a front of mind moving forward. When I look at the our, our one project, but when I look at the macro projects happening here in, in Serbia, um, it's obvious Serbia can deliver. I think there's certainly much more in our sector of airlines and tourism and tourism we can do a lot more together.